guys, what's up? This is Millie here. Now from time to time I tend to make videos about, you know, certain Indian television programs that I watch. Uh, because let's just be honest, we all love laughing at the things that they air on Indian television. And one program, television program, that I watch and waste my life away on is called Emotional Atyachar. For all the non-Indians watching, I'm sure you know what emotional means and atyachar just means torture. So this is actually a reality program which is currently on its um, fourth season and it's aired about, I don't know, 70 episodes in this season. Let's just say Indian television, they don't really have mid-season breaks and things like that, they just keep going. Um, it airs every Sunday, I think, I don't know, I just watch it on YouTube. Um, but they've changed the format for this season a bit. So initially the idea, the format of the show was a girl or a guy comes onto the show or approaches the team because they've been having doubts about their partner, significant others, whatever you want to call them, about them cheating in their relationship. So they approach their, the, the emotional attachers team and they would conduct an investigation as they like to call it forget about privacy laws and they would send in their undercover agents to approach you know the guy the girl whatever um, to see if they you know fall for the trap or if they're faithful and on the final day of their so-called investigation they would call the guy or the girl that that had approached them to watch the entire investigation and as they watch you know they record the person's reactions, um, everything that they're saying about their boyfriends, girlfriends, whatever. Um, and then it ended with them confronting their partners. Um, they would, um, they, 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 they pretty much at the end of the day, the person who had initially approached emotional Atyachar's team, they would go up to um, their boyfriend or the partner and then literally catch them red-handed and then they would confront each other. So you can imagine how funny that particular scene is. I did not say that. Anywho, this season what they've done is because I'm guessing due to privacy issues or whatever, what they've done is um, people actually write to the emotional at the HR team going, this is what my relationship was about, this is what happened, and they supposedly get them to come on the show and talk about their relationship. So they pretty much talk about how their relationship began, where they met the guy or the girl, when the problem started and how they actually found out whether their boyfriend or their girlfriend was faithful or cheating. Forget faithful, these are, all of these have been cheaters anyway. And to bring this, these stories to life, as the person is narrating it, they have actors recreating the story so that you can kind of get an idea of, you know, the girl meets guy, what happens kind of thing. Do you see how I'm wasting my life away? The most I just hit my lantern, didn't I? Anyway, the most epic couples come on the show. I don't, I'm not, I don't mean to be judgmental, but seriously, they're, they're the most epic couples of all times. And not only that, um, somehow all of these people are from Delhi or, um, but currently they're living in like some other city because they're working or they're studying there. I don't know how can how that can be a coincidence that in the 70 episodes, 72 episodes, I don't even know, that every single person is from Delhi, but they are now living in you know some other city like Mumbai or whatever. Maybe one or two people are from other cities, but again, close to Delhi. Another common factor in these stories are that the girl or the guy always meet their significant others, partners, whatever, at bars or clubs. People, please don't go to a bar or a club to meet somebody or don't even go there with the intention of doing so because it never ends well. Most of these people that actually are, come on the show to narrate the stories are actually actors. They don't bring the actual people. Maybe in one or two shows where they have to have the original people, they'll bring the original people, but otherwise it's always actors and actresses. Because the only reason I know that is because me and my friends, we have no lives and we actually may have Facebook stalk these people. I don't get how some people can talk about such intimate things 
on national television, well, technically international, everyone around the world is watching, but how do you talk about that? And how do you remember the exact moment when, you know, the trouble started? Because they're always like, you know, that day, my boyfriend did not answer my call. And how, how do you know? How do you remember all of this? We live in a day and age where something so personal to you, like your relationship, is now being sold under the term reality TV. And I'm equally responsible because I'm sitting there watching it. I'm the consumer, I guess. Well done, reality TV. Well done. And also, I don't get why, I guess some girls, and also guys, they'll share their entire story and then they'll be like, oh, I'm sure there was something wrong with me. That's why that person had to cheat on me and, you know, find someone else. No. No, 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 no. There is nothing wrong with you. You should be glad that they're out of your life before things got too serious or, I don't know, pretty much it's good, it's over before things could get worse, I guess. That is so stupid. You are worth so much more than you give yourself credit for. Anywho, thank you for watching this video and you know, if you happen to watch the show, let me know which one was your favorite couple story thing in the comments below or um, just whatever you like about the show, what do you don't like about the show, whatever you want to leave in the comments below really. My social media links are in the description below in case you want to follow me. I make videos every Monday and Wednesday. I'm sorry I didn't do it last week but from now on Monday and Wednesday will be it. I will try my best to have videos on Mondays and Wednesdays. So please do subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time.